Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue with this robot arm. I've started to build this robot some time ago. Here you can see the old design, the first five axes out of seven. After I decided to refresh the design and completely rebuild it with all seven axes. So the old design was disassembled and I used these old parts to test the most crucial component the differential drive. And it handled 30 newton meter torque quite easily. And this 30 newton meter torque should be enough for us. In the previous video, I've built axis one, which has planetary stage and belt stage. And now we will continue with other axis. So from the last time what I did here, I added the fan, one fan over here another one on the another side and it's connected to the power through the power converter. So it converts the 36 volts to the 5 volts acceptable to this uh, fence. And all this should go inside. And the cover will cover all of this mess just like this. And afterwards on each side I'm going to install this kind of part like here. This part has the channel for the air to flow, for the air from the fan. And also over here there is a place for the planetary gearbox. And this is the planets. So the planets are going over here inside. Just like this. This is the sun by the way. It's going to be installed over here, but let it put here for the demonstration. And uh, the second part, which goes on the other side, I already assembled it. So with the planets and with the bevel gear. Now we need to install this one on this side and this one on this side. I have installed these parts with the planetary gears and with the bevel gears. I also put this cover and the cover at the back. And now over here I can put this part and the same on the other side. The mirror on the other side. So it goes like this. This one should be fixed to the motor. And this uh, should be fixed here and here. Just like this. I also have assembled the sun gear with a big pulley. This will go over here. But before installing it I need to put the grease on the planets. And this is the assembly for the output. So the big bevel gear, which is going just like this. So I need to install this, this, and the axis two and three is going to be finished. Look what I have received. Let's open it. Wow, look at this. Scientific, no errors. Perfect. This is not a solid block of aluminum. As you can see, it made out of pieces. But it's beautiful. And all this thanks to people who watched my videos. Thank you a lot, guys and girls. This is really nice. Cool. And I should say that axis 2 and 3 is very similar with the axis 4 and 5. And axis 6 and 7 is way easier than axis 2 and 3 because axis 6 and 7 does not have the planetary reducer. Because for the wrist, we don't need too much torque. This is my excuse why I have not filmed assembly of axis 4, 5, 6 and 7. Again, they are very similar to axis 2 and 3. The robot arm itself is finished. And now I would like to fix this robot arm. And I would like to fix it like it's a humanoid arm. So this base should be fixed vertical, on the vertical wall. Like this, it will reassemble the shoulder 
and this is going to be the arm itself and this is going to be the elbow, the wrist. And in order to fix the, this robot arm, I have decided to use my old uh, 3D printer. So this is actually Tevo Little Monster 3D printer. So I kept the frame, the rest I disassembled. This frame is quite solid. And on the side of this frame, I made these parts with the holes matching these holes over here. So basically we're going to install the arm over here. And probably I would need to put something heavy on the knees of this base in order to make it more stable. And from the power supply from this Tevo Little Monster 3D printer, I made a power supply uh, for my robots. It's not going to be for this robot, but it can be used, for example, for this robot or for this robot. So 24 volts power supply, 20 amps. One cable is the power output. And another cable, the emergency stop button. So now this stop button is pressed and there is no power over here. But if I unpress this button, there is a power over here and it's shown by this beautiful LED light. And if something goes wrong, and it stops the power. So let's continue with this robot arm. We're going to install it over here. I think it's better to have a two person to do this job. Okay, I hope it's not going to... Ooh. I need already to put some weight away there because otherwise it's going to fall. It barely stands. If I let it go, it stands, but just pushing a little bit. Yeah, it still stands, but ah, really barely. So this cable should go over here. I have put the eight kilo weight over there in order to stabilize this system a little bit. So this is basically like a left arm of the humanoid uh, robot. So this is the wrist, this is the elbow, and this is the shoulder. Cool. Ideally, I need to 3D print the covers for these bevel gears. And also I need to put the grease. I would think how to improve this system because I'm not really happy with the fixation of this robot arm because this frame is not super stable like this. I need either to put a really heavy weight over there or to fix it somewhere. Because right now I have the eight kilos weight, but on quite small level. So it's a level which is comparable to this level. So I don't like it. But the robot arm itself so far looks really great. I have found the solution. So I put this black frame on the aluminum frame from my old robot arm. And now this entire construction is super stable. And it has wheels now, so I can easily move it around. Here I have put two arms together. This is not yet the final version. The distance between two shoulders is a little bit too wide. But everything moves uh, like it should. For example, shoulder, elbow, or maybe let me show you axis by axis like this, it would be more clear. Axis one. 
axis 2 over there is axis 3 elbow axis 5 axis 6 and the last axis of the wrist cool looks really promising this is almost the end of this video but i still want to say one idea which i think is quite important Right now, as you know, there are many companies who are doing humanoid robots and there are many companies who are building artificial intelligence. And at some point, I suppose one or many of these companies would make a general purpose humanoid robot, which will be able to replace a lot of people on their jobs. And so this means that these companies would have a lot, a lot of power. But if we will have the open source alternative, this means that everyone would have the access to this technology. So here's the idea. Let's build open source humanoid robot based on this arm or based on another arm. So the idea is to build mostly 3D printed affordable humanoid robot. But this is a quite challenging task to make alone. My question is, would you be interested to participate in this? So I mean that some of you can make uh, legs, torso, head, gripper or hands also the software, the simulation, etc, etc, etc. So there are a lot of tasks which should be done. So please write me in the comment what do you think about this? Should we do this? Do you think it's interesting? I hope you will find this idea exciting and we can start to do it. As usual, thank you for watching this video till the end. Huge thank you to people who support me on Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Thank you. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.